Morning guys, welcome to another week of vlogging. Shani's over there in the background. I've upgraded her. <laughs> She's upgraded from my phone to my iPad. Um, so we'll see if that works out better. I decided that I don't really use my iPad that much indoors, so I thought I'd bring it out into the craft room and Shani can be even bigger than normal. So she really does feel like she's part of the room now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd start vlogging for you again. I've got a few things to show you, a few things I've been making and what we've been doing and a few things to tell you about. So first thing, let me show you what I've made. Let me turn you around, stand up. I have made, oh, cards wise, I've still been doing the Kathy Rack 30 day colouring challenge. These are the last few I've made. Obviously these have been up on Instagram, but in case you don't follow me on Instagram, you can see them here. This gorgeous girl card was yesterday's one and I coloured her and then paper pieced this wood grain um, in to look like the fence, uh, which I'm quite pleased with that. It actually came out quite nicely and I've done the inside of the card. Ooh, can't open it. Just like the patterned paper so that it matches. Um, yeah, so I've done that one. I really like her. We haven't coloured her gorgeous girls for a while. you done gorgeous as well, didn't you, yesterday? Yeah, I did. I made her into a card, just the image. Uh-huh. Have you got the image there? Can you share? Let's have a look. Just her. Oh, the light's not reflecting very well. Oh yeah, the one with the little squirrel. I like her. Yeah. She's really sweet. And really, before, really sweet. And earlier this month, I don't love a gorgeous girl. This one. She's nice. She's lovely. And I love that smile, Di. Yeah, normal. Very nice. Yes, yeah, we played with gorgeous girls. I've done this one, which is a Mo Manning one which I just found on the Mo Manning website, which I hadn't ever seen this image before and then saw it. Oh, look at my poorly finger, by the way. Look, can you see? Um, yeah, I just saw it and then thought, oh, I have to buy that. I love that little bear. It's super cute. So, yeah, I came across that. I did a few little embellishments, obviously all red and white striped. And I made this card with the little reindeer, which was a slight cheat because I actually didn't colour the reindeer on the day. I can't remember what day it was, but I didn't colour the reindeer on the same day that I posted the card. I'd done them the day before, but I did colour the background. The circles were all done with um, distressing. So I'd done a bit of colouring, but then put it into a card. So yeah, done that one as well. I really like this card. I like all the texture and the circles and the little reindeers are adorable. I've done James the Bear with Snow. Um, which I really really like. This is a snow marker thing that I've got um, which I don't use that much but I actually really like it and I think the day before that one I've done this one which is another Mo Manning Winter Fairy Halla. Is it Halla? I think it is isn't it? Winter Fairy Halla. Yeah with the snow again. So that's my cards and Copic colouring. Done a bit of scrapbooking as well. Last night was actually scrapbooking crop so I was at club last night and I didn't I've worked on these really old photos and just this pocket page of when Alan and I were in uh, Madame Tussauds. This is way back in 2007, so one of my old pages. Um, yes, this is me looking a lot thinner, and I'm with Will Smith. Woo. Um, but yeah, just a bit of a boring layout, but it had the photos had to get done. I just this is the stuff that I took up there. I literally just pulled stuff out, knew that I wanted to stick to this colour, which is yellow, white, the green, and grey. So sort of this this combination. Um, yeah, and put these together, as I say, a bit boring. They were pre-printed old photos, so I couldn't be that creative and do that much with them, but they're done. And other layouts I've made, I've got this one that I made. Again, this goes back to, I think this is still in 2007, Sophie and the Snake. Uh, this is at Longleat Zoo one time. Um, so just a photo of her uh, holding the snake. That's about it. Not much more to say. Love these little diamonds. I've never used those before and it came as part of the collection. So really, really nice. I can't remember what collection that is. Hold on. Let me look. It is... Is it Craft Market? Yeah, Crepe Paper Craft Market collection. So that was using that collection. And then I also made this one. This is going back to Shani's 15th birthday. Um... <laughs> yeah, really recent. I like to keep up to date. So <laughs> nine years ago, whatever it is. Um, and it says to celebrate Shani's 15th birthday, we made a special trip to London to eat in Jamie Oliver's restaurant called 15. If you remember, Jamie Oliver opened a restaurant in London and we got booked in. I think it was about the first like week or something, wasn't it, that it opened, yeah. that we booked into it. Um, yes, yeah, so I put that layout together and the collection was, what collection was that? Hmm, what collection is this, Shani? That one with the birthday cake. Um, oh, what is it? I can't think. My story. Or my mind's eye. Oh, my mind's eye, my story. There you go. 
So yeah, that was used in that coach. I don't think this wood grain paper originally comes from it, but the rest of it is my strip. But I like this layout. This actually turned out to be a really nice one. The pictures, again, weren't brilliant because it was just old pictures that I had. But yeah, they're done. And you've seen this layout because this is the one that I've done a process video for. So this is up online. And that's it. And the others are just a pile there you've already seen, but they're all just waiting to be put away now. So that's you all caught up with scrapbooking and colouring. Um, what else have we been up to? We have got only one week to go until the John Bloodworth event, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I spoke to him again the other day and he's coming down. We're going to be doing some sort of MDF projects and it should be good. Um, what else is happening? Any other updates or news? Oh, we had a craft sort out. Oh yeah, we did have a bit of a sort out yesterday in the craft room. Nothing major, so I didn't film it or do anything major. Oh, let me just shut that drawer. Um, so I actually created a little bit of space down here. Ta da I have half a drawer empty. So I whittled down my wood veneer collection, my metal clips, tags and charms. I got rid of some washi tapes as well and what else oh and the this drawer which has got all my sort of Heidi swap and stickers and puffy stickers and word things this was literally overflowing it is only in a skinny drawer and I might switch these around to upgrade so it has a deep drawer but it had a bit of a whittle I got rid of loads of old stickers so that's all listed on eBay mine's on eBay yours is on Facebook isn't it yeah Oh, I can't see for a minute, excuse me. Um, yeah, I've listed mine on eBay, so if you want to go over and check it out, my username is Sexy Claire. Um, and yours is all on Facebook. So if you find Sharni on Facebook, she's just listed hers all on there. So we've got bits and pieces for sale. That's it. So yeah, two weeks until, uh, sorry, a week until John Bloodworth, which I'm excited about, and then two weeks until I go on holiday. So that's even more exciting. So that's all the little updates, I think. I can't think of anything else to tell you. We're going to craft. Shani's got, you've got about two hours now. Then you've got to go off to work, haven't you? Yeah. And then you're back again this afternoon. So we've got a fair bit of time in the craft room today. So hopefully we get some more layouts done. And yeah, and our colouring challenge for the day. I don't know what image I'm colouring yet, do you? No, I don't know yet. There's always a slight delay. I talk to you and you just delay. Sorry. You're busy. Yeah, I was just trying to send a Sold. Oh, I've sold stuff already. I haven't sold anything yet because mine's got seven days to run or six days left to run. But anyhow, okay, so I'll catch up with you again later after we've made something and I'll share it with you. See you later. Bye, guys. Hi, guys, just back with a quick update for you. It's about two hours since I last vlogged. Shani's now gone off to work. Um, she's only got a couple of hours work and a quick meeting to go to and then she'll be back. So we'll be back in the craft room in no time at all. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I've made or what I've done. I spent a little bit of time just putting my scrapbook layout layouts away and organising the albums. Um, and I also, I had these photos printed already. This is when we went to Paynes Hill Park um, on a photography day out. There's their friend Kay, Shani Sophie, obviously I was there and my mum as well. So they're quite, the photos are really quite busy and I just kept it quite simple, really simple and put it into um, pocket pages um, made this title card and this is actually the roof of the crystal grotto that you go in there so I've stuck the title on one of the photos so yeah just really really simple it's a beautiful place and when we went it was a lovely lovely sunny day and it was just a photography day out my friend Kay who's with us had just got her camera and so we were sort of showing her or teaching her a little bit about how to use her camera and stuff but yeah it's a good day it's my mum taking pictures in the crystal grotto and there's me Sophie with her camera pictures of the girls Ooh, they're all moving about a bit um yeah so i've just literally i had so many photos to get in that i've done two lots of pocket page um spreads i've done this one layout of sophie she was posing on top of um on top of here and then i just decided to to do those three pictures i found i'd used the i am collection and just put stickers down the side i also used some embellishments from the maggie home flowers do you remember those flowers that i brought um, in America I've got I think two or three packets of them I have a whole box of them the flowers and leaves so I use some of those and I also broke into the this sticker um, embellishment sticker sheet thing that I've got this Maggie Holmes crepe paper 
Uh, I just used, what did I use off of there? Um, this wreath thing, which actually ended up getting buried. It's There's one, half of it under here and the other half's under there, but you actually can't see it now. And a few little hearts and some of the gold words as well I used. So yeah, just a collection of little pretty things. I'm desperately trying to kill this I Am collection. I've got so much of it left, but all quite bitty, like lots of little bitty sort of things. No whole pages, no six by six pa papers, just odd bits. So I'm just trying to get that used up. Up. and I've got one more page that I want to do which will be a picture of Shami I don't know what picture yet we took loads as I say because we were playing with our cameras so one of the pictures I'll pick and do a, a 12 by 12 layout with that so it'll be all these pocket pages and two layouts one of Shani one of Sophie and that's that I'm gonna go indoors now as I say Shani's gone off to work I'm gonna head indoors because I'm gonna have a look at the project life app a friend of mine she's to get through the sort of backlog of photos that she wants to scrap she's been doing them digitally so she's downloaded or told me to download the project life app and then you can send off and get 12 by 12 photos sent back of this whole page that you've designed on the app or on the program I don't quite know how it works I'm going to have a little download and a play and see if I can suss it out I'm not a you know huge fan of sort of digital scrapbooking I know each their own you know some people like it I just prefer to get get in there with my hands um, but it might be a way of me getting through through the massive amount that I've still got to catch up on. You know, I grabbed my list, but I've shown you before. This is what I'm trying to catch up on. So literally, I've just finished 2007. That one I showed you earlier of Madame Two Swords was the last of 2007. I've got all this of 2008 to do, 2009. Some in 2011 that haven't been done, 10. This is a really, really rough list. It just gets crossed out and, you know, but it's a it's basically a list of all the photos on my hard drive or hard drives that haven't been scrapped yet. This is 2016. I'm actually up to date. There's more on the back as well. But I'm up to date with all of 2016 and 15. So the the more current stuff is done because I actually enjoy doing that more because um, you've got better photos to work with really but the older stuff look there's a hell of a lot on there the, the, I know the photos aren't going to be amazing but they've got to go into the album somewhere so I'm thinking I might what feels like cheating might cheat a little bit and do some of this digital scrapbooking and get the pages sent to me and then just maybe add a few di um, embellishments just to add a bit of dimension and just to change it up a little bit but we shall see I don't know I'm going to go and have a look now at the app I don't it for me it can't be on an app I have to be able to download a program so I'm not even sure if you can do that but I shall have a look and let you know how I get on but yeah so I'll go for now and I'll speak to you again later bye Hi guys, I'm back again. Right, it's been about two and a half hours, I think, since I last spoke to you. And I did go indoors. I did look at the Project Life app and managed to get it on the desktop and done what I wanted to do. I spent ages playing with it and getting my head around it and then decided it just wasn't for me. It is very good, I have to say. If you don't want to do physical sort of Project Life um, or physical scrapbooking, to get the Project Life app and do it all digi digitally is really, really good. And there's loads of freebies. The cards are lovely you can get loads and loads of stuff but it's definitely not for me I um I designed one or two pages well one and sort of a half page and then just decided I didn't really like it but I'm going to stick to my traditional scrapbooking even though it's going to take me ages I'm going to stick to doing that so yeah Shani's back she's back in her corner are you there oh you are there and um yeah and I'll show you what I've made so we've been out here a little while and I've just completed two quick sort of project life or sorry pocket life no pocket page layouts and a double page spread on Shani's prom as well so I'll show you that and then Shani's got a couple of things that she can share as well okay so I done this one here I've put them in the album sorry so the light's gonna reflect um this is Alan's and Grandad on their 60th wedding anniversary and um, we went to a hotel in Brighton and had like a family meal and everything so this was they weren't the best of photos um, but it was nice to get it in the album Alan's granddad now has sadly passed away and Alan's nan is in a home so yeah this is like this was the last time that we went out with them really and had like a really really nice family meal out so there that's done they weren't the best photos to work with because there were snapshots just taken at the meal but but, you know they're fine and I also done this one um, which was 
just a walk around Rottingdean Windmill, which is local to us, um, taking pictures of Sophie. This is going back, this album is 2007. This is 2007 or 2008. Um, yeah, so again, it was when we were first practicing our photography and just playing, taking photos. So yeah, they're in there and they're done. This isn't a new one, this one was done, but it just happened to slot in between. And then this is the double page spread of Shani's prom. So this was, was it 2008 we just said? It was 2008, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah so was. her school prom, these letters are gorgeous. These Fitzgerald um, glittery gold letters are absolutely gorgeous. And the collection I used was, hold on, I always forget, I should really write this down. It's the Bow Bunny You're Invited um, collection for this pink. It's got sort of a like bokeh effect on the back. Um, and it also had these little embellishments in there and I put a doily in. These are photos that we had sort of professionally done so I couldn't really do much with them so obviously they were massive photos pop them in a little bit of embellishment and that's that done but I do love those thickers so that's what I've made over to you Shani okay I've made this layout hold on I'm just going to turn this light off here because that's better it's not reflecting on the screen now yeah, so here I've done this layout of Nan uh-huh Oh, my reflections on it is not the best, but Nan, that's when we were at Payne's Hill Park, wasn't it? Yeah, just a very pretty. Uh huh. And I'm in the middle of making this layout, which is when we were in America in Bookiever Springs. Oh, oh, they're cool. And I got this, um, what is this collection? The Pink Paisley Outfitters collection. Perfect. Yeah, just us all. Canoeing. And there's the oh, alligator. You, you put that alligator picture in, and you were terrified of that alligator. I know. That's what I thought <laughs> Do you remember how scared you were? I was scared. <laughs> it was a massive all alligator, guys. It was probably about. It was. I don't know how big it was, but probably about ten foot long or something like that. Some wild alligator. We don't get those in the UK. So seeing one, we were super close to it, weren't we? Like literally. Yeah, too close. Yeah, very, very close. And we had just heard as well that in Wakiva Springs, a lady, was it the year before or the month before? No, the month before. The month before we went there and canoed up this little river, um, a lady had gone in the water, fallen in the water and had her arm bitten off by the alligator. So Charlie was really, really scared of this alligator. <laughs> I'm sure if you're watching this and you're in the US, you're probably used to them and you think we're crazy. But for us, that was quite scary. We did see a smaller baby one, which we actually got really close yeah, to, didn't we? And we touched it with the with the oar from the canoe and it just swam down and swam away. But the big one, we were like, we're not going near that. It was huge. But yeah, it definitely would have eaten us for breakfast, I think. Anyway, so yeah, that's our update from the craft room. We have been busy. Um, I'm glad I tried all the Project Life sort of Becky Higgins type digital things, but it's definitely, definitely not for me, but at least I know now. So yeah, carry on with this really. So I might give you another little update again later, but it is, it's quite late now. Sophie's in from school. She's just about to head out with her friend um, and then they're coming back and they've got a sleepover tonight. So I've probably got about another, an hour in here maybe. Actually, we've got to head over to your house later, haven't no, I? Yeah, so I might vlog a little bit when I get to Shani's. We'll see. Okay, speak to you later. Bye. Hi guys, I'm back. They're looking at me over there. Notice I've got a different background. Alan's here, I'm in Shani's house. Um, yeah, we've popped over. We're gonna have dinner here tonight and Alan's in the bedroom installing a telly for Shani. It's not focusing for some reason. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna, while we're here, we're actually gonna film a little craft room tour of Shani's craft room. So I'll upload that separately. In fact, it probably would be up before you see this vlog. But yeah, we're just about to film that now. Um, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi. Morning. Morning. Welcome to a Monday morning. We're out and about today running errands. I'm driving along the road as I'm talking to you. Um, we have got lots of bits and pieces to do. We've got to pop into a supermarket, go to the banks, go to the post office. And then we're going to check out this little craft shop that's not too far from Which where we, we live. We've before. never ever been to it before. I think it might be a little bit old fashioned, but we'll go and check it out. And we're going to grab some lunch somewhere. It's pouring down with rain, hence why we've got winter coats on. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So we shall bring you along with us. Yeah, see what we get up to. Bye. Bye. Pretty, isn't it? In here, I was out of the paper. Yeah.
It's pretty. Lots of stuff. Mini cake. I'd love to get into the cake decorating, wouldn't you? Yeah. Not so much paper crafts, but worth a look. Thank you, bye. Well, that was a little bit of a fail. fail. <laughs> it was like, it's a very pretty little shop, but yeah, it, it wasn't nice really. If we owned it, we could make it a nice. Yeah, really pretty and very, very nice, but not really any paper crafts. It was uh, mainly about sewing and cake, cake decorating yeah. and stuff. But yeah, very nice. So we're now just wandering around in the rain and we're gonna um, mooch about the shops. Oh, there's a Barclays there. I need to go to the bank. Cool, we'll get that done here. And then we'll get some tweets. Speak to you in a bit. We're in B&Q. We've arrived. One of our missions today, one of my errands, was to get paint for the bathroom ceiling because it needs touching up. So we're in the paint aisle. This is outdoor paint. It's very thrilling. <laughs> mm, what are we looking for? Let's have a look. Do you see the stuff? Spray paints, white glass, interior oh, coloured like glass. Paint. I do like a spray paint. Tough, durable finish. Oh, Kitchen and bathroom paint, there it is, I see it. There's people up ahead. Pretend I'm not filming. White. That's kitchen. This is the section. Well, but I don't want like B and Q own one. We want some sort of Dulux. Make sure you say that word right. I know what you're like. <laughs> That's a dangerous word. Where's kitchen? Bathroom. Here. Bathroom. I don't see it. Then do this is what we want. Antique bathroom, white. no, pure white, bright white, bathroom seed in paint, but not a ginormous pot like that. But not that small pot, though. Right? I'm not finding it. That's just standard What are those ones up there? Let's go around the corner. Oh, they've got Christmas trees. Oh look, we can get some of these. They're always pretty and I think that you could do something with them in the craft room. Well, you can punch them out and then you get a little But treat. you can, like seriously, like you can punch out little hearts out of here. Someone's already done it. Look how pretty the colours are. I'm a bit sad with things like that. Oh, I don't think we're meant to be in that section. I need a man. Oh no, let's find a man. Coloured emulsion. I it was in the right section. Yeah, but they were all really, really big pots of paint. We don't want a big pot of paint. No, like we're stuck. Paint issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the life we lead. <laughs> I found Dulux. Bathroom. Found it. Ta da! Is this the one I want? Bathroom. Pure, brilliant white. Perfect, that's the one. Not absolute white, it's just, oh, Pure brilliant white, soft sheen for walls and ceilings. Check. Mission Check. complete. Can okay, you hold that? Let's go and pay. Do we need to look at anything else in here? There's yeah, that man again, he's still looking at me oh, like, what the hell are you doing in being cute? Oh, don't drop it. She nearly dropped it. Can't handle the excitement any longer. Okay. Let's go. Another mission done. Food mission was a fail. We were just walking around the village that we were in, done the bank and post office, couldn't find anywhere to eat. So we went come into to be somewhere. <laughs> we did go we in. Went in. We went in and sat down. Cafe. And then we decided there was nothing on the menu, so we yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, we were good like that. Anyway, I've got to go and check out. Bye. Hello. Hi 
guys right i'm home now um shani's also back at her house so therefore she's in the corner in her upgraded ipad rather than iphone corner <laughs> um i've changed into my my christmas pjs because we were out earlier we got absolutely soaking wet so came home hence the messy hair came home got changed into pajamas to warm up a little bit um so yeah we've been in the craft room a couple of hours no probably only about an hour hour and a half maybe and we have i'll show you the two things i've made i've made this card here which is my coloring challenge for the day i can't hold it up or well, i might be able to the glossy accents are still wet but this little um gingerbread man with this stamp set the little lawn fawn stamp set but it's such a cute card i really really like those but yeah wet glossy accents i need to get a photo of that and put it up on instagram and i also made this one into a card which i colored this saturday or sunday i can't remember it was a couple of days ago um the james the bear and i made that into a card um yeah and that is it i'm also just going to quickly show you this layout i don't think i showed you this last time we spoke remember i was making i think i've showed you all this the pocket pages with the um where was this pains hill park and i'd done that one of sophie I'm sure you've seen this already so apologies if you have but I hadn't done the one of Shani but now that is done so yeah scrapbook layout gorgeous papers flowers I hope you haven't seen this already because I made this I haven't just made this now I made this god I can't even think was it Saturday I can't remember but anyway made that and it's sitting there but yeah coloring challenge for today done card finished off scrapbook layout shared with you and what have you been up to Shani I've made my last two days. Oh, hold on, I'm going to turn this little light off again because it reflects on the screen. I've made two cards, like of the, with the images. I've oh, made. yeah, I saw this image on Instagram. It's so sweet. I really yes, like and her. The card. Yeah. And I've made James into a card, and he's so cute. Oh, I love James. They're so much better now. They're digi, aren't they? Because you can make them a bit bigger. Yeah. And, and I just made this little tag. Out of my delivery. Yeah, Mum had to deliver it to my house, fall. And it is this set, which is called, what's it called? Madison so Avenue. Avenue. Madison, Madison Avenue. Avenue. Mama Elephant like frames and tags. Stitch frame and tags. Really nice. But while we were out today, they've really been really delivered nice. to Sharnies. No, I've just got to play with them. <laughs> She's played with them before me. That's it's not fair. Not, but they're fair. super sweet. I really, really want to play with them. And really you're at work all day tomorrow, work. aren't you? I'm not going to see you all day tomorrow. Nope. So I can't even come and collect it. them. You can come over now. No, I'm in my pyjamas now, so that's not happening. Okay, and that is about it. That was their day today, running around doing lots of errands and getting wet, having a fail of a lunch. Not having lunch. Not having lunch, just coming back here and having coffee, changing into pyjamas, and then a little bit of time in the craft room. Sophie's in bed asleep because she's really, really tired, and Alan's indoors painting the bathroom ceiling. So it was a good job I did get that bathroom paint for him because it's giving him something to do. <laughs> And he needed something to do after a day at work, right? <laughs> um, anyway, so that's it. I'm going to wrap the vlog up for today. And I might see you tomorrow, Shani. You're doing a long day at work all day tomorrow, aren't you? I'm not sure, actually. Oh, so I might see Shani for a little bit tomorrow. Therefore, I will vlog. So, yeah. See you later. Night, night, guys. Say night. Bye. Bye. See you later. Hi guys, welcome to my Wednesday. Um, it's an exciting day today, it's Alan's birthday, so I'm gonna get ready in a bit and go out for a, an evening meal, and I'll try and bring the vlog camera along and sort of sneak a little bit of footage if I can. Um, I'm in the craft room, as you can see, Shani's over there in her usual Hi. place. <laughs> uh, we've just been sorting stuff out, really. It's actually, it's also very exciting because it's the John Bloodworth day tomorrow. If you've seen on my blog, or my blog rather, or on my um, Facebook page, We've got John Bloodworth, the gentleman crafter, coming down and doing a big workshop for us tomorrow. And it's an all-day event. It's raising money for charity. Um, and it's also at my very last sort of event of the year before I go away on holiday. So, yeah, I've got piles of stuff down here on the floor, uh, which all got to be taken up to, to club tomorrow. So I'm just getting organised for that. You're right there, coughing away. <laughs> um what else has been going on i've got look my copic here you know they're normally in my black copic case well my copic case isn't here at the minute because i had a meeting yesterday with a manufacturer and i'm hoping to get some inserts like dividing inserts made up that fit into the copic case so fingers crossed and touch wood and all that lot that we can actually get something made that i can start um supplying for you guys and um, that will hold them all in order and the whole 
whole collection of 358 pens so I'm quite excited if that pans out he reckons it's feasible it's whether the money works out right um oh I've got a delivery to show you hold on let me turn you around yeah so my pens are just standing in this now which this is the box this actually um I get these made to order as well they're like um Copic boxes really nice solid three mil perspex really really nice but this actually fits perfectly in my black box that's normally what I keep in my Copic bag it like lays down on its back and all the pens stand in there which is fine but obviously they're not in order they're just in colour sort of families anyhow I've had a little delivery of this mama elephant um Madison oh you saw this I think the other day didn't you at Shani's house you saw it and it had turned up at Shani's house she'd been playing with it before me but now I finally got it in my craft room Shani's used it she's made some tags with it that she put on Instagram that are really really sweet but she got to play with it before me I've got my new Filofax diary has just arrived. I always use my same A5 Filofax. Well, different Filofax, but always an A5 Filofax. So I've ordered next year's diary pages. I have a week per page. Very exciting. And I see that's just a letter to be posted. So yeah, that's got to be sorted. They've got to be put away. And we're just about to do some colouring, aren't we? And do the 30 day colouring challenge. I haven't done today's one yet. So I've still got that to do for today. And then I'm going to go in, get showered, sort my hair out, and then get ready to go out for a meal with Alan tonight. Um, but yeah, that is it. There's nothing else to tell you about. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, anything else? I always have to refer to you for any other info. Anything else exciting we've done? I don't think there is anything. It's just the John Bloodworth thing. Just getting organised and prepped for that. And as I say, then you'll get ready for Alan's birthday. But I will pop back very quickly. I'll do my colouring and then I'll pop back and show you what I've coloured. And are you doing yours now as well? Yeah, I'm just doing mine now. Cool, so I'll show you what Shani's coloured as well. Okay, speak to you in a bit again guys it's been about half an hour since we last spoke I made a super quick card for the colouring thing um Alan's talking outside he's just got in from work if you can hear him he's just standing outside my door um Shani's done her card as well so I'll let you show yours first oh you've just done the image oh another one of your little pure innocence ones oh hang on let me turn this light off again hey very sweet very very nice um and I've done this one here which cool. is just a very very quick one um yeah a what is that called lily the valley i couldn't think what it was then lily the valley one use my new dyes that were at shani's house the mama elephant ones and i've cut four of those to mount it up so that it's a thick frame and the little image in there really super quick one i've got to get ready to go out now because it's someone's birthday where are you birthday boy <laughs> okay so yeah i'm gonna go now i might film a little bit tonight as i say depending when we go for something to eat alan's shaking his head like no we won't be filming we might i'll try if if not, I shall see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> God, <do it. laughs>